my school was facing a lot of budget cuts. So they oh, got no. rid of the class entirely. No, they got rid of the class. Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. So then what, were you just like, okay, whatever, <laughs> done? No, I, w I wasn't ready to give up yet. So I, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I, so I went to a bookstore and picked up this book called Introduction to C++. It was <laughs> <laughs> like, if they're not going to teach me, I will teach me. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and did you, how was the book? How did it turn It was out? amazing. Really? Um, even though I will say that I got lost a little bit reading it. Okay, um, fair, And some of fair. the concepts, especially pointers, went over my head the first yeah. N times. <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the exercises at the end of each chapter were actually really fun. Really? And there was this one where I had to basically create like a chess game mm -hmm. and a terminal. And it was a lot of work. Um, yeah. But when I finished it, it was just so satisfying. Actually, one of my earliest memories is of this really old uh, computer game called Bailey's Book House. And I must have been around three or four years old when I used it. So it basically just had like these cute little uh, cartoon pictures of rooms and things. Mm -hmm. And then you could like click on the things and then it would tell you the names of the objects and like how they relate to each other. And mm -hmm. I used that to learn how to read. Oh, wow, that's cool. So technology is always around me. Mm -hmm. And I'm always curious about how it works. Yeah. So that's one reason why I really like technology and computer science. Mm -hmm. And another reason is that the problems are just really interesting. So I took this class called uh, CS161, which is Harvard's operating systems class. Uh -huh. I've heard and that's a really hard one. It is. <laughs> so um, there was this assignment uh, that asked us to implement virtual memory. Mm -hmm. um, and it was extremely difficult. We had around two or three weeks to do it. I don't remember exactly because the whole time was just such a blur for me. But what I found is that I was I was debugging my code while eating dinner. I was stepping through my logic while showering. Nice. I was, I was <laughs> sleeping for around four hours a night because this problem set was no. really difficult. <laughs> and when I slept, I would dream about it. <laughs> wow, so talk it, about like immersing yourself in what you love. Yeah, it was like reading a really good book, except it took two weeks of my life and none of the characters were doing what I wanted them to do and it was really frustrating. <laughs> wow. <laughs> when it finally worked, it was probably the best feeling ever yeah. because I had worked so hard on it. Yeah, it's like that chess game you built on the terminal. Yeah. Oh, I love that. 